Hello, my name is Michelle Kerr, and today with the City of Mississauga, I'm going to do Bar Above. Now, what's different about today's bar class is we're not going to use any equipment. Our equipment is our own personal machine, which is our body weight. So I'm going to get started. I'm going to have my feet hip distance apart. I'm going to bring my shoulders over my hips. And throughout the class this morning, I want you to think length is strength. So first and foremost, I'm just going to roll the shoulders, feel the shoulder blades slide down the back. Another roll up. And as I lift the shoulders, I want to feel my rib cage lift up and away from my hips. And again, let the shoulder blades slide down the back. Next move, deep breath up, lift the ribs. And exhale, let the hands float back to the hips. One more time, take a deep breath up, sweep up, breathe in, nice big exhalation. Deep breath in through the nose, sweep the hands up. Exhale, let the arms float back to the hips. I'm going to sit back and down and let the arms come out front. Just a nice gentle squat. Continue to face me, but I'm gonna give you a little profile view. Take a look at my knees, they're behind my toes. My hips slip out behind me and my arms sweep up and come back. As I bring my arms back to my hips, I actually wanna feel like I'm pushing back the wall behind me. Just a little upper back activation. As I realign the hips under the shoulders, I'm gonna squeeze through my glutes. Again, every movement matters, and we wanna capitalize on that today. So we have four, three, two, I'm gonna hold up, I'm gonna tap right and left, right and left. My focus here is on the feel. I want the arms to sweep out, fingertips as if they're gonna brush the walls on each side of me. Take a look from the hip to the toe, length. Tap it out, reach it out. Just start to have a little bit of a puppy pant here. And again, how is your posture. Shoulders over the hips. Reach, 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 reach. I'm gonna make a change in four, three, two. Tap the toe behind, arms swing front. Tap, tap. Again, think of a ballet, ballerina, and they're always reaching and extending out into space. We want to do the same. Tap, tap, tap. Really extend that leg behind, point that toe. I'm gonna make a change again in four, three, two. I'm gonna hold that front leg back, hold, bring the hands down to the hip, press the heel to the floor. I'm gonna tip from the hip. I'm gonna shift forward and back. You feel that nice little stretch coming up out of the heel of the foot, right into the back of that lower leg. I'm gonna hold it back, reach the arms up, lift, lift that back heel, step back a little further, hands float back down into a nice lunge. And I'm gonna open, open. Feel the arms reach behind and if that's too much with the big arm, make it just a little smaller. But again, feel the rotation, a little spinal twist here. Hold it back to center, bring it back in, step it in. Other foot, it comes up and back. Reach, down and lift. Nice sweeping arm. Sweep it up, hands to the hips. Last time, I'm gonna hold it back and down, hands to the hips, I tip, I reach forward and back. Again, feeling that stretch coming up the back of the back leg. Last one, and I'm gonna hold it up. Beautiful, arms come up overhead, reach the arms up, drop that knee, arms come out, reach and lift. Nice little gentle lunge here. Again, torso rotation, little spinal twist. If that long arm is a little too much, again, all you need to do, shorten the levers. That would be your arms. 
Perfect. I step it in, take a deep breath up, and exhale, and I'm ready to move into the workout. So first and foremost, I'm gonna start off toes at 10 and two, shoulders over the hips. I just wanna get my heart rate up so I can move into our first muscle strength conditioning episode. So I'm gonna come down and lift, down and lift. I wanna drop into those legs, sit the hips back and down. Notice I'm reaching for the floor, but I don't want to touch it. I just want to reach towards it. And the intensity comes from range of motion. And if I want to work a little harder, I'm going to pick up the speed. It becomes more of a drop and drive movement. And again, just like I mentioned in the warm up, length is strength. Lift those ribs up away from the hips. Heart rate comes up. Nice and strong, drop, drive to the top. It's a powerful range of motion, powerful movement. Legs are engaged, heart rate's up, and hold it down, hold. Walk the feet in, first move. I'm gonna take in my leg behind. I'm gonna come into what's called a curtsy squat. I'm gonna have my arm raised set to go. As I drop into the curtsy, I'm gonna extend my arm up to the ceiling. So I drop and I reach, reach, and I breathe. Remember, to break through, you have to breathe through. Last one, side raise, half up. So down, half up, down, half up. Elbow lines up with the shoulder. As I draw the elbow back into the body, give it a squeeze. Hold it down, hands on the hips, and I'm going to lift pulse. So I want to lift up and out of the joint. Feel the weight in all four corners of that front foot. And again, nice gentle pulse, small range of motion. You're going to feel the quadriceps get a little bit more tense. Muscles are firing up. You're going to feel the glutes. And now I'm going to make a shift. I'm going to hold it down. Take a look at the back leg. I tap it back and in. Now, although I'm reaching and tapping that back leg out and in, I'm really feeling the work here in this front leg. I don't know about you guys, but I'm panting like a big dog here. There's four, three, two, hold the leg back, hamstring curl. Draw the heel to the hip. Pull it up, pull it up, pull it up. Excellent, hold it back, check it out. I'm gonna put those two moves together. In, back, squeeze. In, back, squeeze. In, back, squeeze. In, back, squeeze. Last time, and hold it in. Come up and out of the movement, whoo, and sit it back and down. Nice little quick squat here, stretching out that glute and that leg that we just worked hard on. Woo. Breathe. Now reach, pull back. Reach, pull back. Reach, pull back. So it's a little quick and dynamic here. Again, I'm always thinking about coming up and out of that squat, long and strong. Feeling the power in that push back up to the top. I load, I lift. I load, I lift. There's four, three, two. I hold it up. Little change, tap, tap. So now I'm gonna have a little cardio over and above what we just finished with the squat. And then we're gonna do the lunge curtsy squat on the other side. So again, reach down, tap, tap, tap. Now, if I want a little bit more intensity, I can sink down into the legs. Can you feel the difference? That's too intense for you. Again, your option, is to come up and out of the legs. Or sink. Or pick up the leg speed. Again, our goal is to be brave and heavy and hard. So out, 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 out. Last option, little lift. Little plyometric pop in the middle. Four, three, two, 
All right, there we are, march it out. Woo, deeper breath, take a deep breath up, I can't even talk. And out. Stop the feet, lift the ribs up and away from the hips, and exhale. One more time, sweep it all the way up, hold it up, reach. Here we go, curtsy squat, other side. Arms come down, drop, lift, drop, lift. Feel the length in the torso, and again, reaching up through the fingertips, driving it up long and strong. Now down, halfway up, down, halfway up. So I turn that arm into a nice, easy side raise. I draw the elbow towards the hips, squeeze, press, squeeze, press. Last time, I hold down, hold, and I pulse lift. Again, lifting up and out of the joint, feeling the pressure in all four corners of that front foot, feeling the quadriceps fire, and I hold it down. Here's my shift, back and in. Now I wanna stay low in that leg, because now I'm in my working zone. And I'm toughing this out. There's four, three, two. Beautiful, hold it back, hamstring curl. Squeeze, squeeze. Now imagine behind that knee, there's a lemon. Put pressure on it, really draw that heel to the hip and squeeze. Hold it back and down, and in, back, squeeze. In, back, squeeze. In, back, squeeze. That's it, a couple more to go. And we're gonna make a quick transition to the floor after this. Last one, hold it back, step it in, sit and lift, sit and lift. Stretching out the glutes, letting that blood run through the quadriceps. Even though we were on the spot doing curtsy squats, heart rate's up, your body was moving. There's four, three, two, Last one, I'm gonna hold it down, hold. Excellent, come all the way up, release. My next transition is to the floor. So here, I'm gonna take it down on my knees and my elbows. Again, I'm gonna get core here, but I'm also gonna add some lower body. I'm gonna full on and integrate lower and upper body. So, option one, from the knees. Option two, from the toes. Elbows directly under the shoulders and pushing into the forearms. So from the knees or from the toes, you're gonna take that front leg closest to the camera, bend at the knee, press the sole of the foot to the ceiling. Hold it up. Now lengthen and squeeze. Lengthen, squeeze, really draw that heel towards the hip. Feel that squeeze. Your core is engaged. At any time, you can take a break. Remember, you're building the foundation. Hold the leg extended, pulse. And hold. Knees to the floor, walk the hands back. Take the knees hip distance apart, big toes together. Just come into child's pose. Little active recovery here, a little stretch out. We come up on the hands and knees. We walk out, we go to the other side. Now we're gonna take the back leg from the knees or from the toes. Now this round, I'm gonna show from the knee. So I'm gonna lift and press. Try not to let the hips rotate. Keep them square with the floor. Hold the leg up, extend and curl. Draw that heel towards the hip. Nice space between the chin and the chest. Imagine a nice long line in the back and feel your core really engaged here. It's activated. And extend it out and little pulse lift. We are almost there, gang. Last one, I hold, return the knee, I sit back, right back into child's pose, 
walk the hands into the knees. Nice quick exercise, getting all the target groups, glutes, muscles, glutes, muscles, of course we're getting muscles, glutes, hamstrings, quads, little upper body, reach it back, nice little hamstring, knees relaxed, not locked, and I'm gonna change sides, lean in, reach up, hallelujah, that little workout's finished, right? It's short, but it's intense. Excellent, step down, turn front, sweep the arms up, and exhale, sweep the arms up, hold the arms up, give me a reach, reach, lift the rib cage away from the hips, last time, hold, arm comes down one side, I tip, now feel the space that you've just created between the rib and the hip on one side, slide it down, switch, sweep up, reach, 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 and hold. Arm comes down, tuck, and tip. And all the way up. Sweep the arms up. Let the arms float to the hips. One more time, sweep the arms up. Hands overhead, hands to heart. Have a fantastic day no matter where you are. Thank you.